Hey guys, this is Andy McCann, your host on this podcast where we are trying to help you learn, learn, <laughs> lay a firm foundation in fitness, food, and finances. We're still on food because it's important. Um, I do an expert counsel take for the survival podcast and the question was pretty good and I thought I'm going to do a full episode on it plus some other things, but um, um, the, I, the question was, uh, is there a miracle food out there to help me lose weight? And, and the answer is actually yes, it's the pickle. And I'm going to go through the pickle and everything on there. So other things that are coming up. You see some new coaches coming online. That is awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. If you're interested, let me know. The first thing is you need to be able to talk to somebody. You need to be able to have fun. If you don't talk to anybody in class, you're probably not ready for this. First step is just to talk to people, say hi. If you are a happy, humble, helpful person, then you're probably already ready for this. Um, fun is the big thing. So I tell my guys for coaching this to 3F. Fun, fitness, and for coaching. Yes, yeah, right. Coaching doesn't start with F, but it has. Actually, somebody said you should use form because that starts with an F, but that blows the whole funny part of it. Anyway, we would love to have you. I'd love to talk to you. Um, we don't specifically need more at the moment, but I, I love coaching and coaching the coach and getting people on the bench in case we have a situation. For example, today is the 16th and my son has been uh, working through an issue with his gut and it turns out that, hey, maybe he needs to go to the emergency room. And um, as a parent, I wish I would have seen it sooner um, in in retrospect, yes. And then also when people, it's, it's just like at the gym when people say, hey, how do you be healthy and fit? And like, just show up every day. It's a common stuff. Sometimes when it's your own life, you don't actually see what's going on. So uh, Aaron had a, Aaron Flanagan, well, actually you've got a new last name, but I can't say because I can't remember it. But um, anyway, Aaron said that, uh, um, I described her what was going on. She said, Andy, if he's lost 50 pounds, that's basically a third of his body weight. Don't you feel like that's important? I'm like, uh, yeah, when you say it like that, it surely is. But when you say like 40 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever, it doesn't, I mean, it is a lot, but you're a college kid, so there's weight to be lost. Anyway, um, my point is sometimes we don't know what we don't know because nobody's ever said it to us. So, um, Come join us as a coach, experience and learn. And this kind of plays into the idea of the pickle, the perfect weight loss tool. Sometimes I don't know what you don't know. I, I've known this for a long time. Why a pickle? And I'm, I'm going to go into all of that, but I'm going to hit you with a few other things first. Hey, Charles, not only did I pause it and drink coffee and clear my throat, <laughs> I remembered to click unpause. Okay, so a couple fun things. We do have Bring a Friend coming up in October, week of the 16th. So anybody that's a friend of somebody in the gym, you can come in. We're going to show you what we do. You're going to take it easy. Unless unless your friends bring it in because they hate you, <laughs> then they'll tell you don't take it easy. So take it easy. We're also having um, uh, Jamie and Danny are doing Hot Shots. I think it's the uh, October 12th now. The, the date has moved. And then we got a couple things planned for fun at the end of the year. I'm also trying to come back up with when school starts, can we get a board game night started? And I'm going to throw back out there for anyone who's interested in learning uh, D&D, playing little Dungeons and Dragons, old school, like um, on the, uh, what was that TV show, Stranger Things. We'll show you how. It doesn't mean you have to commit to anything. We'll do like maybe two or three weeks of it and, or sessions of it. And then um, you can be gone and say, hey, that was fun, whatever. It's just some time to hang out with people at the gym, build community. But I do like board game night, so I'm going to try to bring that thing back and establish it and make it stay. But uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty bad about social stuff. Um, I know it. And, um, so yeah, just keep me to task on those things. All right. Other stuff. Let's see. I did have a question from one of you guys in class and it was about stimulus. So, um, today's, yesterday's workout was Isabel. Isabel is a hundred and, oh, sorry. It is 30 snatches at 135 pounds for guys and 95 pounds for girls. Does that mean you actually have to do that weight? It depends. So because it's a named workout. You may want to like actually say, I know what my time domain is on that named workout. It's different because it's named. If you're interested in fitness, then don't worry about it being a named workout. If you're interested in CrossFit as like fun, like metrics and like, you know, terminologies and I'm in the cult and all that, then yeah, you may want to get your own Isabel time. So you can do it. It's snatches or whichever way you want to do it. It's power snatch, uh, squat snatch, muscle snatch. At 135, um, I actually can't do that that much. That's really close to my maximum, so it would take me quite a long time. I'm also not really interested in getting a really fast Isabel time just for the sake of Isabel or slow Isabel time because for me, it would be slow. At 135, I would probably do, it'd probably take me near 30 minutes to do, ah, man, could I even do it? Yeah, I could probably do 30 snatches at 135 in 30 minutes. Yeah. I think I could. Do I want to? No. Does it prove anything? Uh, maybe some long suffering, some other stuff. 
but it's uh, not necessarily going to move the needle forward in the areas of health and fitness that I want. So what do I want? Hey, I'm 50. This stuff can get kind of tough as you get older, but um, one of the things that takes us out as we get older is we trip and fall and die. So I know that having balance and coordination is huge. So instead of just doing a snatch in the form of a power snatch to move the weight, I decided to do a full squat snatch, or most people might say that's just a snatch. So so let, let me back up and say this. Uh, I don't really care what you call it. I don't care what you do. The number one rule is show up. But when you're talking about snatch and a clean, if you go to an Olympic lifting meet, and this is like in the Olympics, if you went there and somebody said, they're like, hey, we're doing a snatch. And they took the bar and they grabbed it in a weird ass grip and from the floor to their head in one movement, and it looked like trash. As long as it was one movement, they don't care. So you can get it up there any way you want to. It's a snatch. The snatch is floored overhead in one movement. So if you want to do a squat snatch, power snatch, muscle snatch, they don't care. In CrossFit, it still, it doesn't matter. It's called a snatch. Now they will get specific and say, hey, this must be a squat snatch or hey, this must be a power snatch. I don't really, whatever, whoever the coach is at the time, whatever they say it is, is what it is. But that's why I go with, well, it says snatch, so do whatever the hell you want to do. So why did I pick squat snatch? Because I know that coordination and balance is a thing as you get older. What am I? I'm older. I'm 50. Uh, I usually tell people I'm 106 now. So Jamie, yes, I did <laughs> move the number up. For, for 10 years, I told people I was 50. <laughs> so now I'm actually 50. So now I say I'm 106. But what's the biggest problem for people that are 100 or that are um, over 50? When you get to that older age, you trip and fall and break something and it pretty much takes you out if the normal diseases didn't get you. Currently, I'm pretty healthy. So I'm watching all of those things. I don't eat sugar. I eat pretty good. I eat regular. <clears throat> I did actually change my smoothie. I should go into that one time. I changed, uh, I've been eating the same smoothie for about 10 years. And I did finally change the recipe a bit to drop down some of the uh, sugar content. I was using a banana, like a quarter of a banana. Now I just use some blueberries because they have a lower glycemic index. Anyway, maybe, uh, if you're interested in what I eat in the morning, there's a video on that on YouTube. I can show you the smoothie there. Um, or I guess I can redo it and show you what I'm doing now. I've, um, anyway, I chose the squat snatch because it's a more difficult movement. You need more coordination. I also dropped the weight down, way down. So it was 105 pounds. I used a 15 pound bar and I built the weights up slowly, just like Josh asked me to. I decided, yes, this is the weight I was going to do. Um, I did look over at Randy's bar and <laughs> I was like, maybe I should do 106 pounds. So I'm just a little ahead of him. But then I redid the math and he was actually like 20 pounds heavier than me. So <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. So yes, I do have some fun uh, uh, fighting competition inside of me. But the primary reason I'm there is I want to be harder to kill. How do you become harder to kill? Show up. Next thing is don't do anything stupid. So the weight felt good. The movement felt right. I did a video of myself doing it. It was about a five minute workout for me. And um, I uploaded that. You can go to at... Andy McCann 42 on YouTube and watch the video. It's not exciting, but you do get to see a 50 year old man uh, move a weight and it doesn't look that that bad. Actually, let me pull that up real quick. I wonder if I always have a problem with getting um, uh, demonetized or copyrighted or whatever it is. Not that I'm monetized at all, so I don't really care, but um, they don't like it when you show other people's videos, but it's my video. So why would they, you know, hate it? So anyway, let me go see if I can find that. Yeah, there it is. And I hit the volume off so you can't hear it. So I think there's a song playing in the background. And um, anyway, there's uh, it's two, four, six, eight, ten of us in the gym at the moment. And um, yeah, man, I'm going to say these lifts look beautiful. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm pushing myself. I'm at the gym. I've got full depth in the squat. My shoulders are in a good place. And I've got historically shitty shoulders. So Go watch this and see an old man do a thing, and it ain't that bad. I'm just saying, I can do this. You could do this too. If you're my peers that are listening to this, or you're 50 also, and you're like, oh, I can't do that. I'm too old, fat, and slow. Yeah, you probably are, but you can change it day by day. My buddy Cam um, just upped his uh, press. So he's 51 or two. He's older than me, just by a bit. And they say, hey, you can't gain strength as you get older. That's bullshit. They say that because people typically don't, but you can. He and I are living proof of that. Okay, anyway, I need to get back to the whole idea of what I was on, and that's the pickle. Yes, um, Alan Mullinex, I, love, I know you love my uh, derailing, and I just derailed myself big time. It all comes together, though. There are secrets to this that I think you guys know, but maybe you guys don't know. So the secret is a, a squat snatch 
is much better for your neurological adaptation, your body, your movement patterns, especially as you get older, than simple power snatch. Um, why? It's more complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did less weight. Um, actually, I can do more weight in my squat snatch than I can in power snatch. But my point is I did less weight because um, it was 30 of them. If I was doing one at a time or just doing for like one rep max, maybe I could do more. Actually, I usually end up defaulting to a split snatch. But um, anyway, so let's go back to the pickle. So why is the pickle one of the best things you can eat? <clears throat> the biggest thing is if you look, so right here I got pulled up. Um, if you're on audio, just paint the word picture in your head. I got Mount Olive uh, Kosher Dill Spears pulled up. The nutritional facts, <laughs> calories, zero. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many servings there are, the calories are zero. Eat the whole damn thing. It's zero. It's a miracle food. <laughs> it's just a cucumber. Cucumbers have nothing to them, right? So fat, zero. Uh, sodium, that's the problem. I'll get that to in a second. Uh, carbohydrates, 0.5. Uh, protein, zero. So yeah, it has nothing to it, nothing good, nothing bad, but it will fill you up. So it's going to put something in your stomach and help you stop eating. You can make them crunchy. You can make them soft. You can make them dill. You can make them garlic. You can make them any way you want. I don't like to make them. I like to grow them. Here's the thing. You can even go like super hardcore, grow your own. Cucumbers are super easy to grow. I am not a great gardener, but even I have cucumbers growing in my uh, crappy ass garden. So all I did is take some seeds, throw it out, cover it with a chicken gate that I used to gate in chickens, basically chicken gate. And the um, cucumber is growing out of it and looking for like water. And I got a, my well, um, when it purges every day, the, the filtration system. And so I just put that to bleed into the garden. So now it gets watered every day. Is it too much? Is it too little? I don't know. And I don't care. I hate gardening, but I'm growing cucumbers. This idiot who doesn't do anything specific with gardening is able to get cucumbers to grow. And what is the primary ingredient of a pickle? Weirdly, it's a cucumber, right? If you didn't know that, I'm sorry. You should know that. So secrets, um, full deep squat with something heavy. Yeah, that's going to be the way to go. Secret, eat a pickle. So when you're trying to lose weight, a lot of times the habits and the cueings that come in there, they're like, you need to break the cycles. Sometimes it's just, I need to chew on something. Great pickle. Sometimes it is, I'm actually hungry. Great pickle. Sometimes it's um, uh, the ritual or reward that you set up with yourself. Fine, make it a pickle. Sometimes it's you need to punch the sweet tooth in the face or whatever it is that you need. Like I need that uh, crunchy. I need this. Usually it's sweet. You just need to give it something else to focus on rather than sweet. It's great, a pickle. You can use, I mean, the easy ones are dill, but you can buy other types. Don't obviously don't buy sweet pickles. That defeats the whole purpose. But um, pickle, you eat it and you, you gain nothing. I Again, sodium, that is the bad part. So if you're at our gym working out, no problem. Stop doing extra sodium stuff. Don't put salt on your food. This is going to be all the sodium you need. The good part is as you sweat, you're going to sweat out a lot of that sodium anyway. Drink a little bit more water. Make sure you pee it out. There's a lot of sodium. If you want to get away from that, again, grow your own cucumbers and make your own pickles. So let me pull this up. Let's see. I pulled up one thing that was uh, like actually like uh, uh, make a pickle. Let me see if I can find it. Um, oh, I also pulled up some stuff. I just said, hey, pickle the miracle food uh, for weight loss. And it's every a lot of stuff came up. So yes, it's not a secret. It's just nobody really talks about it. So the calorie count is really low. It's actually got some health benefits. There's there's fiber in it and you can actually make it so there's some probiotics. The biggest problem is, and everyone knows this, is it's just got a lot of sodium to it the way it's made. But if you make them yourself, let's see, did I have a recipe here? No, it's nutrition facts. Let me see if I can find a recipe. Yeah, make your own pickles. Here we go. So um, you can make them any. So this is the great part. If you want them garlicky, great. Add garlic, whatever in there. If you want them dilly, put them in there. If you want them uh, tasting like olives, I don't know, put olives in there. If you want them tasting like um, black licorice, put some fennel in it. Right? You can make them taste like anything and tastes like cinnamon or pepper or whatever, don't have like calorie count. So it's, it's just spices. It's okay. Put whatever you want in there. Basically, when you make a pickle, you, um, uh, uh, let me, show, let me read this again so I can tell you exactly. Okay. So basically take your cucumber, then you got water, vinegar, and some sort of seasoning. So right there is pretty easy on the seasoning. It could be dill, garlic, bay leaves, um, salts, uh, it does say sweetener, but I, I, I mean, don't do sweetener. That just defeats the whole purpose. When you prepare it, you just basically wash it. Um, you can take off. Uh, you can you can take off um, 
the tops and bottoms to help it absorb more, but really you don't have to do that. And then you're going to soak it in a brine solution. So, um, I mean, I guess you could even make these like alcoholic, which would not be great because it's got obviously the same effects of drinking alcohol, but there's so many things you could do with this. Um, and you let it sit there. So you get a glass jar, cover the top, and um, you want to make sure the solution is above the pickle. And um, just put it in the refrigerator and just let it sit there. Actually, you know what? I hate doing these things, but I think I might make some pickles just so I can say I did it. Uh, it it's, it's not hard. Let it sit there. How long? It really doesn't matter. It's, in the old days, they would say can or pickle things. And it's a storage food. So you could make this and store it for a very, very long time. Uh, you can, I mean, you could probably make enough cucumbers in the summer to last you an entire like season through the winter to get back to the next summer. It's that easy to grow cucumbers. So it's the miracle. Yes, do that. Now, if you want other tips on how to actually like lose weight, um, I've got other podcasts that I would aim you to. So the first one would be on how to stop consuming sugar that came out uh, March 24th. Um, another one, that's going to go through a whole bunch of things that I did to get off of sugar. It's been like 10 plus years for me. Getting off sugar is key. That's probably the easiest way to lose weight. I mean, it's easy in terms of just don't eat sugar. It's hardest in that sugar like really wants to be in your brain. The next one is Laura Wolf um, from 230 pounds to coaching tips and tactics on nutrition. It came out on June 30th and um, that one goes through all of her stuff. I mean, she is a nutrition coach. So she goes through a lot of things, uh, habits, plate method, log your meals, eat more protein, read the labels, um, get 30 minutes of activities, drink more water, do uh, the work and um, in the way you think about calories or your mindset. So it's it's a, a great podcast. I didn't know she came to the gym at 230 pounds. If you look at her now, her journey has been awesome. She is one of the best moving uh, people in the gym. I mean, the other day we did Isabel. And she was just crushing the movement. She's like, I don't know if I'm going to do a full squat. I'm like, it doesn't, you don't need to. You're moving that weight so awesome. Anyway, kudos to her. She's just had a fantastic journey and treats herself well and is moving great. There's another podcast with Hannah Breedlove. So she talks about sugar mom and living without hypocrisy. So that was a good one. She tried to eliminate sugar out of her diet. And I think if I remember right, she said she lost like 10 pounds in a like really short time frame. Because when you drink sugar, it just builds up in you pretty quick. Another one is, oh wait, when was that one released? That was April 18th, 2023. Then you got uh, Food Made Easy. It's one of the like earlier ones. That's January 15th, 2023. And let's see, I got Diet, Willpower, and the Perfect Plan and Why 42 is the Answer. <laughs> that one was April 21st, 2023. And um, let's see, I got one more. Um, oh, this is um, Alan and Stu actually worked with Lara. And so I sat them down and we talked about their journey. And so the title is Nutrition Doesn't Have to Be Hard with Alan and Stu. And that's December 1st, 2023. So check that one out. That's their actual journey. Um, again, it, it this stuff doesn't have to be hard and it's not rocket science. Um, this is a nice little cheat or a hack eating a pickle. And <clears throat> here's the thing. You can do a, uh, the, the base things you should do over time, and it's going to have a great effect. Um, I've got really close friends that do super complicated things, um, like uh, you know red sauna, like um, uh, or just a sauna or red lights or whatever, right? Or they do foot baths, um, Epsom salts, or they do um, rebounding, or you know they eat a certain I don't know. They do the really hard things that are like way out there, like take a lot of um, supplements, a lot of, um, which I'm not against um, cod liver oil, but like maybe too much of it or whatever, right? So they're doing things that are quite hard, like getting rid of parasites, which isn't bad, but like those things are kind of hard to do. When the things that move the needle the most are kind of easy if you just do them. So one is like show up for fitness, do something like, like uh, Lara said in her podcast, 30 minutes of moving is great. If you come to the gym, if you do CrossFit, you're going to move for 30 minutes. Now, not all movement is created equal. If I had to pick, I would say thrusters are the best thing you could possibly do because you're squatting and lifting something heavy. But it gets kind of boring just doing that, so you don't just do that. Now, I like CrossFit's methodology, functional movements executed at high intensity sometimes, right? So constantly varied functional movements. So we get to mix it up to keep it fresh. There are things you would probably do anyway, and so that's good in life. 
Um, we know that tripping and falling takes many people out, so this is going to build back coordination and balance. I would probably keep the burpee in there because of coordination and balance. I'd also probably do a whole lot more suitcase carries because if you're lifting an asymmetrical load, your other side really has to build up for it, right? So there's a lot of like goodness that comes out from being asymmetrical in this case. Easy thing, just show up and do a thing. Probably the hack to the easy of getting to the gym is go early. If you wait, then uh, I know your day may not line up like this, but if you wait to do it, things kind of get in the way. I do like what some of the members do. Um, I'm thinking like Meredith and Sanjoy, they get off of work, they come straight to the gym. So that's just part of the thing. Their workout clothes are already in their clo- uh, in their in their car. They packed them up the night before, put it in a bag, put it in the car. So they're already ready. There is no excuse. Sometimes the boss does say, "Hey," and they know um, they have uh, my permission to say, "I have an appointment with somebody," and that appointment is me. <laughs> but maybe we don't. But they can use it if they want to. I have a health appointment. Um, Go early. So I would say any, well, 5 a.m., dang, man, that's early. 6 a.m. is becoming a pretty popular class, especially with it being so hot. 6 a.m., 7.30, love it. 8.30 is getting pretty good, but um, get it done in the morning. Move. Listen to the coach and do a thing. On your eating, do the easy the easy steps. Stop drinking sugar. I know it's tough, but it's easy. Stop drinking sugar. Then look at the labels and start eating smart. Most of us eat dumb and just stop eating dumb. If it has a drive through window, don't eat there. Um, if your food is entertainment, you're going to get what entertainment gives you, which is like fat and nasty. <sighs> eat more meats, eat more vegetables. If it breathed either air or, um, you know, had a face, it's probably good. So vegetables and meats, if it's highly processed and never had a lifespan, <laughs> then it's probably not. If it's got more than like 10 ingredients, it's probably bad too. These are th- simple things you could live by. What's the ingredient for a banana? banana. That's it. You can buy peanut butter that has like 30 ingredients, or you can buy peanut butter that says peanuts, salt, and that's it, right? Or just peanuts and it's just crushed. So you can make smarter choices by looking at labels. It's not hard. Those are the biggest things, how to invest in yourself, move and eat smart. Though it's not the only thing. They say the people that live the longest, actually in that grouping of people besides doing the, or in addition to doing the um, I move and I eat well, it's they have good relationships. So coming to a gym like ours creates relationships. It's why I say stupid shit. You guys are like, Andy, sometimes your funniness is not too funny. That's okay. Somebody laughed. And it gives you an opportunity to make a comment, create a conversation. I don't care if you're laughing at me or laughing with me whatever. You're talking, you're enjoying. There's a smile on your face. I get it. Sometimes the only person that, like when you come to the gym, the only person that's ever pouring into you is a coach because you're pouring into your family, relationships, your job. Who's pouring into you? That's our job to pour into you. And we want to. Anyway, um, the whole, (laughs) the whole point of the long point of that was the pickle is a shortcut around many things. You can do pickles in various ways, And um, you can be smarter about the things you do. It's an easy step. Yes, there's a lot of sodium. If you want to go to the next step, make your own pickles. But the problem with when you make your own pickles is you end up like me, you end up having your own chickens too. So if you go down the line too far, you end up with chickens in your backyard. I know, it's so weird. I'm not sure how it happened. Um, Anyway, guys, we are here in Woodstock, Georgia. If you're local Woodstock, man, come on by. I'd love to have you. I'd love to help you. If you're a friend of somebody at the gym, I will give you and your friend um, or you and your member, whatever, your own class. I'll help you out. If you want to come to a class, I will meet you there and walk you through it. It's not scary. It's not hard. CrossFit is the most simplest thing I've ever seen. I've done it with a broken foot. I've done it with a messed up shoulder. I've done it with a fever. I mean, it's easy. It's infinitely scalable and modifiable. If you have good coaches like we do, then you're going to have a coach that can help get you to where you need to be, even if you've got things. I love like uh, David Wallace learning to coach right now, and he's got a uh, issue on one of his shoulders. So what does he do? He takes um, like we did Isabel. He took a dumbbell and he used that rather than like messing up his other shoulder. He's giving it some time. He's doing smart things. He goes up front to MyoFit and has Sam and Alex work on him. That's smart. He didn't say, well, screw it. I'm done with my fitness. I mean, he's working around it. Is, um, well, there's a lot of things you could do inside of that. Be smart. Let, rule number one, show up. Rule number two, don't, things, don't do anything stupid that'll prevent you from showing up tomorrow. If I had to really pick a rule number three and four, it would be three days a week, squat below parallel, 
and three days a week, lift something heavy that's external loading, not your body. That would probably be, be it. Three and four, I'm sure there's other rules that would be great to have. But guys, it doesn't have to be hard. Um, and having a coach or a mentor to guide you along just makes it so much easier. Why would you pay for a gym like ours? Because you get all that stuff. Come to the gym, check us out. If you're not local to Woodstock, then I will help you find a gym. I did that in the last episode. I'm not going to do it here. We'll drill into your area. We'll look at the websites together. We'll pick something that makes sense. And for the most part, CrossFit gyms are going to operate the same, which is they're looking out for your goals and your growth. Now, again, not everybody is the same. It's not a franchise. It's an affiliate. So everyone can do it pretty much their own way. So you do need to look at it and say, hey, are they the type of people I want to be around? We used to be a highly competitive gym, and I intentionally drove us away from that because the, well, there's many issues to it. One of them is that's just not what most of us want. And the other is, damn, those people got some attitudes and it's hard to work with them. So I'm just not interested in dealing with all that drama. All right, guys, Andy McCann here, CrossFit Garage. You can find me or you can email me, Andy at CrossFitGarage.com. You can go to our, um, well, I guess it's my, <laughs> it's my own YouTube channel, but it's really like gym and healthy and stuff. YouTube channel, it's at Andy McCann 42. You can see some stuff. It's a lot of chickens. There's a lot of lifting. There's other interesting things like going out and having fun and adventures. And we are here for you. My number is actually on the website too. You can call me or text me. I don't care. I'm old school. I love to talk. Um, it's so much easier to dial these days because it's all push button. If you remember back in the day, you had that rotary dial. That was a pain in the ass. This stuff is easy. All right, guys, we are here to help you lay a firm foundation in fitness, food, and finances. I'm going to get on to the finances soon. Just listen to two great books. Um, one is Dave Ramsey's Total uh, Money Makeover, and the other was um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I re- listened to that book. It's a great one. I recommend it to everybody. All right, guys, have a great day. Ah!